So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can link to a page in Notion. So there are actually many different ways that you can link to pages. So I'm just gonna run through each of them now. So the first one is using the at symbol. So if I just type in the at symbol, it will bring up this little search menu. So if you look down here, it asks me if I want to link to a page and it will bring up some of my recent pages that I've been using. If the one that I want to link to isn't here, I can just type it in. So let me just type one in and it will bring up um, anything that matches. So let's just say this is a page that I want to link to and it will just come up like this. So if I click on this, it will take me to that specific page. Okay, so that's probably one of the easiest ways that you can link to a page. The next way that you can link to a page is using these square bracket symbols. So if you just type in two of these square brackets, it will bring up a very similar search menu to the one with the at sign. Um, so the main difference between this one and the previous one is that at the bottom, it will bring up this little menu where you can add a new page. So if you realize that you don't actually want to link to an existing page, you want to create a new sub page, um, you can do that using this symbol. So I can either click on this button here, add a new sub page, or I can again, click one from the list of my pre-existing pages or type type in the one that I want if it's missing. So let's say I want my social media planner. I type that in, it comes up here and I can add the link here. So the next one is using the plus symbol. So similar to the ones above, I'm just gonna type in the plus symbol. Um, and if you just start typing something like social media, it will then again, bring up this same menu that you can select from. Again, the difference here is that it will bring up this little sub menu where you can add a new sub page or you can add a new page in its own right. So it's not a sub page of this page, it's just its own page. Um, the main difference between this one and the one with the square brackets is that this little menu will appear at the top. So it's probably the easiest way if you wanted to add a new page rather than link to an existing one. Um, so let's just say that I wanted to link to this social media planner as well. Again, it will just bring up the link here as a block. So the next option is highlighting the text and adding a link. So this one is great if you want to add a link to a specific part of a sentence rather than a block like this. So let me show you what I mean. So let me just type out a sentence firstly. Okay, so let's just say that this piece of text here is part of my page. It says, check out my resume prior to the interview. But where it says my resume, I actually want to link to my resume, which is also on Notion. So one way that I can do that is by highlighting the text that I want to link. So in this case, my resume and this all options will appear. So if I click on this link one, it will allow me to add a link. So again, you can type in the page that you're searching for, or if you've edited it recently, it may come up in your recent. So in this case, this is a resume. So I'm just going to click on that. So that then adds the link just to the specific words. So this is more ideal if you want to embed the links directly in the text rather than an entire block like this one dedicated to the link. Okay, and then the final way that you can grab links in Notion is by using the link to page block. So Notion actually has a block that will link to a page. So if you just type in forward slash link, as you can see, it will bring up this link to page. So if I click on that, it will bring up some of my most common pages. I can then also just type something in. So let me just, if I want the resume, again, you can type it in and it will bring up a specific page. And it will again add this as a link. Okay, and then the final thing that you need to know about links is that every time you link to a page from a different page, it will generate what is called a backlink. So if I just go onto this page, because we've linked to that a few times, as you can see up here, it says there are two backlinks into this page. So what that essentially means is there are two other pages within my Notion workspace where I have linked to this specific page. Now, if you click on the backlinks, it will actually show you which pages have linked to this page. So this is just an easy way to navigate between the pages and also just keep track of where you've linked to which pages from. And that's it. That's how you can link a page on Notion. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on my Etsy store. The link will be in the description box below.